Well, I'm on a <laughs> blistery uh, winter morning walk with, with Angel. And uh, I just thought I'd stop and show you something. It's kind of cool. Marcensis. Pretty sure that's how you say it. Marcensis. It doesn't matter how you say it. It's in more, more important. Of what's going on here? In the fall, deciduous trees lose their leaves. They have to because there's sap uh, in, in, the, in the trunk. It's about 82% water, I believe, and the rest is sugar. And if that stays in the trunk, then it's going to freeze. And when water freezes, it expands and therefore opens up the, the, the tree for uh, rot and things like that and fungal infection. And so, so it goes down into the roots, the root cellar in the winter. So that's why the leaves fall off. They stop photosynthesis. They turn from green to their normal col color, which is like yellow or, or red or whatever. But what's going on with this guy? The leaves are still on. What's going on? There you go. Uh, so, this only happens in certain species. Uh, so, oak, notorious for it. Beech is a big one. Beech, they do not like the, losing the leaves at all. Uh, and uh, especially uh, ironwood, which is this guy here, uh, or this tree here, ironwood. Uh, so yeah, actually the oak is in the, in the beech family. I just thought of that. Anyway, so what's going on? Nobody seems to know. Hmm. Some hypothesis, hypothesis, one that kind of makes sense. I notice, especially even the maples, sugar maple does this as well. Not all the time, but, but actually right around me, some sugar maple are doing it right now. It's only the bottom of the leaves that actually don't drop. Uh, they stay on throughout the winter. Hmm. That could be because deer like browsing, especially oak. They love eating oak because they take one bud off. Um, uh, oaks have multiple buds at the tip. So when they take the tip off, they're actually getting you know, three or four uh, buds instead of one. So they love oak. So the young oak are like, hey, I'm not, I'm not doing that, man. I want my, I want my buds <laughs> for the spring. So they'll leave the leaf on and therefore two hypotheses. One is the deer or the moose, whatever, but uh, the deer would not want to browse that because yeah, there's still a leaf on it. And also it's noisy. I don't know if that's a weak, weak hypothesis, but some people say, well, the deer doesn't want to do that because it's too noisy to to chew the bud with the leaf on, or just doesn't like it. That's a good one. The other is, I think this mo makes more sense. Um, the hypothesis is that they they want to hold on uh, for the very last moment of, of the fall to get more photosynthesis going, um, just because they're nutrient um, hungry, uh, and that makes more sense. The other thing is in, in the spring, these leaves will fall on the bottom of the tree and create more nutrients. That's a good hypothesis, actually, that make, makes sense. Uh, yeah, the other is that if the tree gets something out of forest fires, like uh, even though we, we think forest fires are bad, but they actually do create nutrients, especially to open up the canopy um, uh, for, for trees. Uh, if they can survive a forest fire, meaning that that species is very dense wood, which ironwood is for sure, uh, most dense wood in this forest, um, then it's going to lose its leaves in the spring and therefore probably ignite a forest fire to burn up everything to open up the canopy. That's a good hypothesis as well. The other one I've heard, I don't know, <laughs> maybe, maybe not, but uh, you'll see a, a whole bunch of, like oak for example, good example, a bunch of oak <coughs> um, with the leaves still on and therefore it creates a canopy of protection in a day like this, like it's brutal wind out. It's really, really uh, cold and um, uh, windy. And the deer will come in to uh, huddle up there and then they'll poop. And poop creates nutrients. So the tree knows that and says, look, I'm not lo losing my leaves th uh, this winter. I'll lose them in the springtime. Sure enough, that's good. But I'm gonna get a bunch of deer hanging around, pooping and create, create fertilizer. Hypothesis. Or it could be, I don't know. Some people uh, eat uh, asparagus and their urine smells weird. Some people eat it and it doesn't smell. Nobody seems to know. But there probably is a reason for that. But anyway, so yeah, on another walk in the forest. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering why the leaves aren't falling yet, like what's going on here? It's hypothesis. Nutrient, I think, is the answer. In the springtime, drop the nutrients. I do know that actually, look at the old pioneer. Uh, books, they uh, would take these leaves in the fall 
and stuff their pillows and their jackets with them to keep warm. That's not a pasta. That's true. Thanks for coming out for another one. I like doing this. Right, we're gonna keep going. Angel's getting cold. All right. Oh, and by the way, she just got uh, diagnosed with uh, tick uh, disease, um, Lyme and anaposius. I, ca I can't pronounce the other one. So uh, yeah, let's just say uh, a couple days in the vet and uh, I gotta get more work coming in because it costs me a lot of money. <laughs> She's getting better though. She's on uh, meds. And she didn't bite, bite the vet, so that was good. Right, Angel? <laughs> All right, see you next time.